All right, good morning, everybody. It's actually evening here as I'm shooting this video. And as you can see, I'm wearing a hoodie. It's finally cooled off a little bit in California, which is something I love, the cold weather. As a matter of fact, it's something like uh, 50, well, 57 degrees here, which is spectacular. And us Quimby's, we really like cold weather, so we have all of the windows and doors open, and we have fans on blowing the cold weather in, and we're just soaking it up. So that's uh, that's something that's really exciting for us, and I was actually out and cold today, which is a blessing. Anyways, to me, it's always hot here, so have a little cold weather, it's awesome. So... Here's, my, here's the thing that I want to talk about. Have you ever known somebody that seems to know how to react properly in each situation that they're in? You know, I, I, I have learned this, that it's awesome to be around people that know how to react in certain situations. And then you see them react and you could actually uh, like literally observe it and learn it you know and say oh that's that's how you do that that's what that looks like and those things are really impressive to me when you see somebody i think there are a few situations i've been in where i reacted in a certain way a unique way to me that was right but i i really feel like often i do this wrong i i react in in wrong or I face things wrong and um, I'm always being convicted by the Lord. I'm always being like, you know, redirected and instructed by the Lord through the scripture about how my heart should be in these situations. Well, the Apostle Paul definitely was one of these people that learned a lot of this stuff. You see his attitude towards a lot of it was was outstanding. Um, he, he reacted properly. And I just want to read this from Philippians chapter 4. It shows me how much more of a mature person he is than I am, or he was than I am. He says this, um, he says, this is Philippians 4, verse 11. He says, Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. Okay. Anybody out there figured that one out? Let's be honest. Because I found that that's not really the case with me. As a matter of fact, I'm always reigning in my discontentment and I'm always, you know, there's, there's kind of a fine line between um, looking at things that are not quite right around you and trying to fix them to make them better. That's not quite the same as contentment and discontentment. Discontentment, just not being happy with what's happening. And not not trusting the Lord to work out those details, um, especially the things that are, really in this case we're talking about things that are out of your control. Keep in mind, we're talking about a guy that spent a lot of time in prison, a Roman prison. We're talking about a guy that had people in almost every place where he evangelized, try to kill him, okay? Not your average guy. Not your guy that's just saying like, oh, you know what, I just bought a pair of sandals last week and already they're starting to fall apart. Not We're not talking about these small things. We're talking about a guy that had people working in conspiracy together to kill him. And, and governments coming against them, all, all kinds of stuff, right? We're talking about a guy that was basically homeless, um, that was used powerfully, powerfully by God. 
but he did not lead an easy life. And he says this, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. He said, everywhere in all things I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, to abound and suffer need. See, whenever I heard this verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, I always heard it kind of in the context of like, yeah, we can we can overcome these problems or we can, you know, we can make it through this. But he's really saying here, in all of these things I have learned to be full and to be hungry. He's saying he can do all things. He can go through times of extreme hunger. He can go through times of extreme, well, as he says, suffer need. Times where he's suffering need, where he's just, he's got nothing. And also, times where he is full and he abounds. Now, I'm going to say this. It needs to be said, I think. People don't realize it, but... Often it's those times when we are, we have the abundance. Those are often the times that we're the most vulnerable. Because it's it's in the times of abundance and when things are going well that we often just let our guard down, and we misdiagnose what's happening around us as some sort of spiritual invincibility which it's not absolutely not it it's not that what is happening is at those times we're just being blessed okay we're being blessed in those things and we have to come to terms with the fact that if we let our guard down we are going to be uh, we're going to we're not going to do well Okay, we can't do that. But I, I look at this and I read this and he says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. A person that would write this, well, let me, let me put it to you this way. If it were me and I was writing a letter to the Philippian church, I would not have written these words. I just wouldn't have. I would have said other things probably. But I wouldn't have written these things. You know why? Because when I read them, immediately they kind of like, they poke at me like, hey, Dale. You know, I I mean, it's not in a bad way, it, but it, it is, I read it and I there's inside of my, my conscience, it says, you're not where he was. You just aren't. And I know that. I read this and I think, man, you know what? I'm not, definitely not there. I I often, like, I have to often wrestle with my thoughts and wrestle with the things that the discontentment in me, I have to wrestle with, you know, just wanting something to be different and not understanding why it is. And literally, like, it kind of, forcibly uh, push those things aside and say, well, wait a minute. I'm trusting the Lord here. I just have to trust him to do it. And and Paul is saying, literally, he's saying, no, I, I can do this. I know how to do this. I've learned how to do this. I think I've learned a little bit of it. Okay. And I'm sure all of us are like that. We We've learned some. It's not like we're just whining, crying babies. Well, we shouldn't be. If you are, uh, yeah. I, I think I actually talked about this in a previous video some weeks ago. Like, we need, we do need to toughen up as Christians. But um, we are learning this stuff. We're going through it. We're learning it. We're learning it. But I wouldn't have written these words because I'm not there. And there's a part of me that just wants to go to the Lord and say, Lord, help me to know how to do this without learning how to do it. Because <laughs> I don't want to be, I don't want to be hungry. I don't want to be 
you know, suffering need and all of that. But listen, this is, this is where our faith comes in. We do these things through Christ. It's not like we're doing it alone. Whatever happens, and, and to be honest, I did, I have gone through years of pretty outstanding poverty, okay? There is in my past, there are years where it was just faith, trusting the Lord, literally, you know, paycheck by paycheck, in the, in, the, in the place that a lot of people are in right now, where it, it's just like, man, how, how, are, how long can this go on, you know? But understand this. This isn't really about uh, just making paying bills. It's not just about this. I, really, this is all coming down to um, allowing the Lord to to give us strength when we're feeling weak and when we're feeling beat down, allowing the Lord to, or actually finding our strength in the Lord, right? Finding it there, going to him and saying, okay, in the place that I'm in right now, what do I need to learn from you? In this place, in, the, in what I'm going through, what do I need to learn from you? What do I what do I need to see about who you are that will that will strengthen me that will build me up that will change me in right now that will help me to get through this and help me to fight my way through this or to fight my way out of it or to endure it and and be stuck here enduring it and persevering and I think that's that's the key and I can I can just tell you I mean this is I know there's a lot of things about Dale, but I'm just that's just because I want uh, I want to really focus on how profound this is and how much there there is to learn here for everybody. Um, and I, I know a, a lot of people are struggling. So one of these things I, I didn't want to come in here and say, oh, this is how you do it and just figure it out. It's not like that. What I'm saying is we can be there we can we can get to this point where we learn contentment in whatever state where we learn how to um to be content and to endure the things that we're going through and to find strength in christ it, it can happen if you doubt it you need to you need to spend some time reading these verses and praying about it i think but a, a lot of times what happens is we get there and we find actually a lot of rich blessings in those places of difficulty and looking back we say yeah that was the lord was really working in my life then there was i was learning a lot of things i was growing and it was difficult and that does happen but i want you guys to i i didn't want to come in here Talking like I've got this figured out because as I read it, like that would not be true. I read this and it's it really shows me, man, the Apostle Paul, he was a godly dude. And he was much godlier than I am, clearly. And I do want to be in this place where I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm more like if I wrote this verse, I would write it. I can do a lot of things, comma, things that I want to do, comma, through Christ who strengthens me. But there are other things I don't want to do. And um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't want to do them. I get grumpy about it. And I don't even want to pretend like I can do them, even though I, I know that that's true. Anyways, these are powerful verses. These are things that as Christians... The more that we understand about this and the more that we think about it and pray about it, the more that we allow the Lord to minister to us in this way, the stronger the church is going to be in general. And I think this is why this is so important. This is the thing that I feel like I needed to talk about today to equip and strengthen the church in general. Um, whoever's watching it, right, may it may this help you 
may may it get into your head and to your heart and then challenge you of course but also spill over out of your life into the lives of others where we as christians are we are actually enduring such difficult things we're enduring the things that uh, that are happening in our lives and we're doing it to the glory of god we're doing it in a way that it's apparent that christ is strengthening us through it so i hope that blesses you today i hope it gives you something to think about as usual please like and subscribe to this um, video and my channel also take a minute and send me a um, just leave a comment i do appreciate that I really enjoyed reading comments this morning. There were a lot of actually really long comments. I, I always, when people leave me different longer comments, I always think, wow, maybe, maybe the Lord is working through these videos, you know, or whatever. But um, thank you for leaving those comments. And as usual, I hope you have a great day. May the Lord richly bless you. I'll see you again tomorrow, which is Friday. God bless.